Okay. So, we are in Streamlabs OBS. So I'm gonna clip my camera a little bit. If you hold the Alt key while you're dragging one of these middle sliders, it'll let you clip or crop out your image, out your source. You can do this to anything. So I'm gonna tinker with my filters. They're a little, a little too much. There we go. It's great to have a green screen weave. We free. I can show you a cheap one. Mine was like 25 or 30 bucks on Amazon. So you can already see there's a feedback loop. All right. So what we're going to do is implement what I just showed you. All right. We're going to hold Alt and grab this center square and cut it up to the black and make it only feedback loop on this display capture. My Streamlabs preview window. And this works in all OBS softwares and then if you lock the source it'll get rid of that that green bar but you can see I missed a little bit of gray so we'll just make it a little bit smaller than, uh, than the preview window then we're gonna right click and go to transform and stretch stretch to screen bam whoa Already got a super weird feedback loop going on, right? Wham. Then I can lock it, unlock my camera, blow myself up pretty big. Now it's getting weird. One cool thing you can do is let me add another display capture monitor okay another thing you can do nope i'll just throw it on top uh is you can this is our trippy one right here we'll rename it to trippy okay you can right click it click filters and add a render delay just leave it named whatever you want so we're going to say 300 so that that's three seconds. Every hundred milliseconds is a second. And we'll hide this display capture. Now you can see everything, oops, sorry. Everything behind me. Well, maybe it's not three seconds. Maybe it's a third of a second. Or damn near close to a third. Yeah, that sounds about right. So now you get this weird looping delay. That's pretty fun. But you can take it further. What we're going to do now is cut that off and add a media source or an image. Uh, add new. Anime. Unload image when not showing. You should always tick that. So we're going to add this rainbow GIF. You know, just go ahead and right click transform and stretch to screen that helps a lot okay so that's on top and what we're gonna do next is right click it and add a filter you're gonna add a color correction filter and set the opacity down to like 20 something and you can crank up the saturation to maximum if you want. It just really makes the colors pop. And then we'll hide my display capture. And now look at that, we got a crazy little 8-bit color changing thing going on. We'll show this now. Now I got the weird ass render delay. And it gets weird. You can throw your own camera on top of that. Now I'm in color, but all my delay duplicates are now colored because my uh, GIF is behind me and the display capture is on the bottom, the very bottom layer. Now you can add all kinds of filters to, to that. You can uh, even scroll the display capture, a scroll layer. 
I guess you can kind of see that on screen. You can add a horizontal scroll to it. And it looks funky when you do it to the display capture. So you would have to learn like what fucks the display capture up and what doesn't. So anything that fucks the display capture up, you can just go and try and apply it to your camera directly. So we're going to add a scroll to the camera. And bam. Just a real gentle thing. Oh, now you get to see my the messy part of my cutoff. <laughs> yeah, you can work with it. There's a lot of fun things you can do. It's fun wearing clothes that can be chroma keyed. Glasses. I'm going to cut that filter off now. And this is what I was talking about. You can add an image about your anime girls. So we'll add a source of this chick dancing. No, nah, not that one. This one, because it's transparent. And we'll throw her on the bottom. And just stick her right there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to clip a little bit more of my camera. So you can see that. Uh, you can also add filters to her. So we'll add a, we'll add a scroll for her. We can even blow her up real big in the background. So that's just always happening in the background. Now again, we can throw the uh, the trippy image. I think it's this one. Nope, that's the anime girl. We can throw that right on top. It makes it a lot of fun. Now there's another thing I can run called Snap Camera. It's made by Snapchat. Um, It can kind of be annoying. It's probably going to break my camera in a second. Alright, so I'm going to cut my camera off. And try to run it. Let's see. Open snap camera. Well, my OBS is already using it, so it won't let me do it. Anyway, you can download snap camera. It's a pretty neat program. It's made by Snapchat and it lets you apply filters to your face while you're streaming. Uh, it takes over your camera and you have to add Snap Camera as a source. Uh, it does cause an issue for most people with a, about a half quarter second delay between mouth and audio. Um, but it's a lot of fun. If you have a powerful computer then it won't, it won't do that as bad. Uh, and the longer you run it, the worse it gets. But yeah, I mean, this isn't too bad. You can also grab the, we'll hide the anime girl for now, and the trippy background. That loop will happen for a minute. So we'll unlock the source, the display capture source, and you can hold shift to stretch, and we'll just stretch it in one direction. Now since I've got my box clipped like to that, I have limited mobility because my desk isn't really set up for streaming right now. Uh, but there's all kinds of weird stretching you can do to it. So I'll stretch it back this way to fit the screen. Now if you give it awkward proportions like this where it's wider than it is tall, and then stretch it to fit the screen then you can get some odd duplications behind you and I think I can even do this bring it down stretch it real skinny and then maybe
already if I hit transform fit to screen. Nope, that brings it back to this. Oh well. Maybe if I do that and then transform stretch to screen. Nope, still brought back to this. Oh well, you'd have to do it manually. Just give it oblong proportions and then echo shift. So you can do this kind of thing. It's super weird. I love it to death though, but it's super, super weird. Just remember to add your transparencies, add all the images you want and uh, just find some fun gifts, send me some stuff and I can tinker with it, warp them, make them weird. Depends on what you're trying to do. I mean, if you want to have a, a little dance rave party thing, that's a lot of fun. It's a great drinking stream idea. It's a great way to celebrate getting raided or uh, a big ass donation, anything like that. Okay, sorry if it was long. Uh, I hope it was pretty clear how to handle all this. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a good day.